Hey friends, welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at celebrities who are living with chronic illnesses. A chronic illness is a long-term medical condition that requires treatment and management over an extended period of time, usually years. Some of them are well known like arthritis and diabetes, but there are a whole host of others that have been given more attention in recent years because a celebrity has publicly disclosed having it. Zola has epilepsy. He says, I'm not well and it's true that epilepsy is very hectic and you need to learn about it. I faint most of the time, but I'm I'm not dead i'm alive the longest time i've passed out was two days i have to take different types of medication to keep myself alive because it may kill me it's a disease but it's also chronic it won't go away i was born with it but it's only showing itself now dinao ranaka opened up about living with temporal lobe epilepsy temporal lobe epilepsy is an underlying brain disorder that causes and provokes seizures from the temporal lobe i've been living with it since my early 20s dinao says my episodes have gotten worse with my age it frightens me on Honestly, imagine having seizures in your sleep. So Leka Mandela has terminal cancer. She was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2011 and following therapy, she went into remission, but the cancer returned in 2016. She received additional treatment and was once again in remission. In August 2022, she shared an incredibly gut-wrenching post on her IG saying that the cancer had reached her bones and that this time she might not make it. Connie Ferguson revealed that she's living with chronic depression, which affects her mostly in the winter, and she only stopped taking antidepressants recently. Bonnie Mbuli, who suffers from clinical depression, has been taking antidepressants for a few years now. Seven Dilan actress Havuye Boy says she has been suffering with depression since she was 12 and has been hospitalized three times. Sophie Ndawa has type 1 diabetes. Years ago, she shocked Mzansi with a drastic weight loss. She later revealed that she had diabetes, the same disease that killed both of her parents. Sepo House Amosese was also diagnosed with type 1 diabetes at the age of 20. Zandim Sutwana struggles with polycystic ovary syndrome, but it wasn't until Zandile noticed that she had excessive hair growth on her face, which was quite pronounced on screen, that she decided to see a doctor. Results were back with PCOS. And the first thing he said was, I won't be able to conceive, she wrote. Lala Hirayama is also in the same boat. She was diagnosed with the condition at the age of 27. When I was diagnosed with this, I didn't realize I'd been living with it my whole life. She then went on to see a doctor and was diagnosed with this fertility issue. Lerato Khanyako told True Love magazine in 2016 that she's suffering from fibroids, making it difficult for her to fall pregnant. Despite the odds against her, Lerato fell pregnant in 2015. However, she suffered a miscarriage five months later. She has had four miscarriages to date. Since Alunginai too also has fibroids. She has lost two babies. Fortunately, she was able to have one child, although she is hoping for another. Nambita Benmas, who suffers from endometriosis. Nambita took to Instagram to detail her journey. On May 25, 2020, I underwent emergency surgery. A number of procedures were done above and beyond being diagnosed with stage 1 endometriosis. This has been the toughest time of my life. While Rodisang Tandegiso has not revealed the name of a chronic condition, she has revealed that she has had six surgeries since 2019 and she has finally been diagnosed. She shared some of the side effects she experienced in her journey, citing acne and a hair loss as some of them. Brenda Mtambo was diagnosed with chronic anxiety in 2020. Ever since her diagnosis, Brenda has been on treatment. Before COVID, she did not even know that she had anxiety. My mind was working over time. I remember I was rushed to the hospital because I couldn't breathe, but I was not aware of what was causing it until they told me that you don't have COVID, you don't have anything, you just had a panic attack. Masa Sambangeni gained weight, which led to the masses spreading pregnancy rumors. She then addressed the rumors, revealing that she had been taking chronic anxiety medication, which caused water weight gain. Warren Masemula was diagnosed with alopecia, a condition that causes hair loss when he was six years old. He's been bald ever since. Not having hair was an issue when he was younger, but he has gotten over it as he's grown older. Gil Mabalano, who also suffers with alopecia, was only diagnosed as an adult four years ago. Maschaba at the world shook when she appeared on TV having drastically lost weight. She has since revealed that she has been diagnosed with hypertension. Lila suffered a stroke while in Germany in 2022, which left her unable to speak. In the same year, a stroke landed Elvovo Dirango in hospital. He said that his left side of his body was badly damaged. My eye and mouth were affected, but I feel much better. Joyce Kefu is recovering after suffering a stroke in 2022 as well. She says she's been going through stroke-related therapy. Florence Masebe has a chronic respiratory condition. She was diagnosed with asthma as a baby. She almost died from it in 2018. Lady Du has a lung problem. She said that her lungs were underdeveloped and are too small for her weight. She said, I've had breathing problems. I cannot do anything active for more than a minute. Lady Du has revealed that she has to visit the doctor every three months to have her system cleaned. Bahumi's illness is called lymphedema, a long-term condition that sees excess fluids collecting in tissue, which in turn causes significant swelling. This makes one of her legs look more prominent than the other. 
Crystal Dakananda has been living with HIV for almost 24 years now and is thriving. Kudos to all these celebrities because by being open about their health struggles, they have played a part in raising awareness for many of these chronic conditions.